Uh, so we're going to get started in just a moment. As you can see, we have Liz Peto here, and she is ready to lead us in the baking. Uh, it looks like you've got your ingredients ready, and you're ready to go. Uh, so yeah, uh, Martin's in the kitchen right now uh, with Liz, and uh, we're all set. Uh, if you don't know Liz, she is a, a master cook and baker. Um, Liz, uh, how many... They, uh, yeah, you all know Liz, but how many times have you won, I don't know, grand champion at the county fair for some kind of food you've submitted? A couple of dozen. Oh, yeah, a couple of dozen, she says. Uh, and how many times maybe grand champion at the state fair? Well, just one. Just one, okay. time, one time for my cookies. But one, I have one other ribbon. One, one time grand champion at the state fair, but other ribbons as well at the state fair. So this, Liz is a well-decorated cook and chef. So you guys are in good hands here. Uh, I will now turn the camera around and I'll do my best to adjust things uh, to where the action is. And you guys do your best to follow along at home. Like I said in my email, don't fret. This is like a cooking show. If something goes wrong, it's okay. Uh, nobody's gonna know. We're, we're doing this cooking stuff for fun. And like I said, there's a little education that goes along with it in a few minutes. Uh, but right now, just do your best and see how it goes. So are you ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to cook. You're ready to cook. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn this camera around. Tonight I just brought a bowl to make it in. I didn't make it in the mixer. I see you've got your, your mixer up there. Um, so you can make it in the mixer. What you usually do is read the recipe the whole way through, which I made Martin do, okay? So he read the recipe all the way through so that we could make sure we had all the ingredients and all the tools that we needed to make it. All right, so what are we gonna do first, Martin? Uh, two cups of White whole wheat flour. Okay, so he's gonna put two cups of whole wheat flour in our bowl. Do y'all know how to measure flour? Yep, that's good. You wanna make it, see how Martin's got it? Let, have Martin show you how it's nice and flat on top. Yep, we kinda wind it nice and flat on top. Yep, you're doing it right up there with the knife. <laughs> yep, okay. And next? Next, uh, we have one cup of white flour. One cup of white flour. And I measured that at home, so he's just gonna pour it in. There you go. And then we want one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, that's your tablespoon. So you want the two smaller ones, there you go. Yeah, that's right. That's what you want to do. Scrape it off. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let's just set that aside for now. What's next? One and a quarter teaspoon salt. What do you want the oven turned on at? Oh, 350. Preheat your oven to 350. Mm -hmm. Say that again, 350? 350, yep. Okay. That's one. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, the recipe wants you to uh, sift these ingredients together, but I didn't bring my sifter tonight, and not everybody has one. So Martin is going to take his whisk. So grab a whisk. He's, gonna whisk, he's gonna whisk those ingredients together really well, okay? If you're making it with a mixer, just put it on the, put it on your mixer and with the, oh, see, she's got her sister. <laughs> yeah, you can it. Otherwise, Martin's just gonna make sure that he mixes it really, really good yep. with his whisk, okay? Not gonna hurt it any by by not um, not sifting it. All right. So does everybody have those four ingredients in? Yep. Yeah. Thumbs up. Tiffany, we're waiting for you to finish sifting. Okay. All right. Then the next 
step calls to add stirring four teaspoons of oil. Four teaspoons of oil. So you can use vegetable oil, you can use canola oil. I happen to bring olive oil. So any of your oils, you want four teaspoons. Do it, do it up over there so that if you spill a little bit, it's okay. Yep, see, like that. So if it spills over a little bit, it's okay. Anybody have any questions yet? No? Okay. Can we mix in uh, the oil? Yes, that's what's next. So now you put your four teaspoons of oil in there. Now you want to mix that all together with your flour. Okay, so go, yep, go ahead and use your whisk and mix it up. Mix it in. It won't mix very well because it's not wet enough yet, but So it might, get, it might look a little lumpy or something, but that's okay. Hey, you think you got it mixed in good? All right, so what's next? Um, we need three-fourths of a cup plus two tablespoons very, um, of hot water. Very hot water, so the hottest you can get out of your tap. You want three quarters plus two tablespoons. So let it run. I know that this water at your church is really hot. Wait, what's your car, sir? Is it going to be too hot if I put it in the microwave to heat it up? Um, as long as you can put your finger in it, you should be okay. So yeah, I think we'll dump it out and start over. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Okay. I'm sorry. Our Hot water at church isn't getting very hot, so Martin's going to put it in the microwave for a few seconds here. Um, into the water, you want to add three tablespoons of honey and three oh. tablespoons of molasses so. into your water before you put it in with your flour mixture. So you're putting in your three tablespoons of molasses and your three tablespoons of honey into your hot water. Okay, so now he's got his hot water and he's gonna put his three tablespoons of honey and his three tablespoons of molasses in there. Do I use the same one? Yep. Yep, sure, that was only two though. One more. Okay. Okay, are you gonna be able to pour it or do you want me? Do I want to pour it? Or, oh, yeah, you you pour want me it? to pour it? Yep, that's what I wanted to know. It's a big jar. One more. Okay, and then I'm gonna have Martin use that same spoon um, to mix them together in the cup. Yep, put it in there and mix them, mix them all together really good. We kind of want the, the honey and the molasses to dissolve in that hot water. All right. All right, so has everybody got their honey and their molasses in their water? Are you ready to pour it in the flour? All right, here we go. Yep, pour it in. And then you're gonna wanna make, use that spoon to scrape that good stuff out of the bottom there that didn't scrape the whole, yep. Scrape all that good stuff out of there. We can put those in the right in there. All right. So those of you that have a mixture, start mixing, put it on your mixer and start mixing it. Those of you that are just doing it at home, use your wooden spoon, use your spoon and mix it really good. And you're gonna want to get it um, as much mixed as you possibly can. And then you kids, you need to go wash your hands really good because you're gonna get it get in there with your hands um, 
Tiffany with the mixer, you can just let the mixer do the whole thing unless you want her to, I mean, it's kind of fun to have the kids need it. Um, the dough hook. No, the other one. That, yes. And if you think it's mixed good enough, like I said, that you can't mix it with the spoon anymore, go wash your hands and then come back and you, you're gonna use your hands. Go wash your hands. And then you can come back and you can get all that off with the, you can take that all off with your hands. And get in there and you're gonna, you're gonna beat it up. Are you bored yet, Justin? <laughs> Uh, you'll have to make some at home. Bet you your grandma would help you. I'm just hungry. <laughs> so now he's going to get in there with his hands. And he's going to mix it all up together. I'm going to get a picture of me, but. Yep, mix it good. It's first communion in there. I know. I know. It's important. I know. All the miles on the <laughs> um, Carrie wanted the picture, the first picture of me holding Ivy Rose, mm -hmm. and it is the Saturday after Ivy Rose was born, and I am sitting in their house with my mask on and rubber gloves mm -hmm. yeah. because she was still too little to be, yeah. so, you know, to be exposed to anything. So that is the first memory this little girl is going to have of her grandmother holding mm -hmm. her is with a mask and rubber gloves yeah. on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. No, this is what you gotta do. Get all that stuff on the bottom mixed up in there too. Don't, don't leave any of that good stuff. Okay, so how's everybody doing? Is it nice and wet? Not, not, it should be a little bit sticky. You don't want it real dry. If you think it's too dry, we'll have to add, you'll have to maybe add a little bit of water to it. But yeah, this is pretty. But that, no, that's perfect. Yours is perfect. Oh, okay. Okay, so keep, keep mixing it though. Okay, I want you to beat it up a little bit, okay? I know it's not like real bread with yeast in it, but we still wanna, we still wanna work that gluten a little bit that's in there. Okay, then once you get it mixed really, really good, you can divide it into four pieces. And you're gonna put it, make them into, you're gonna make them into like four round discs and put them on a baking sheet. So here's our baking sheet. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, kind of make them into balls, and then flatten those balls a little bit. Kind of, so kind of look like a flat cookie. You don't want them real you flat. What about the baking sheet? Do you want us to spray it? Nope. Okay. Nope, does not have, their baking sheet does not have to be sprayed. And if they're not all even, that's fine. <laughs> okay, then you're going to take that thing. You're going to take a knife. Okay, we'll wait until you all get them on the pan, all four of them on the pan. And I'm gonna do the first one for you and then you can do the other three, okay? How's everybody doing getting them on their baking sheets? You good? Okay, they don't need to be real flat, remember. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a, take a knife and you're gonna cut it like Cut it like a pie, like you're cutting pie pieces, but you don't want to go all the way down. So we're going to make a, you're going to make a slip, maybe a quarter of an inch. Yeah, just a little indent. Yep, a little indent so that first it's going to look like this. I don't know if you can see it. Not cut all the way through. Not cut all the way through, but there's four. And then we're going to cut it again. And then we're gonna do it one last time. So you're gonna end up with eight pieces. What well, looks like eight pieces. Can everybody see that? 
what that kind of looks like. Okay. Okay, Martin, you can do the other three. I went with Katie Mullen and her mother yesterday to get her nails done, and this is the color Katie picked out for me. <laughs> okay, next one. Yep, and the last. All right. So yeah, they're gonna look like this. So like not cut all the way through, just like a, see it like ends like right there. Perfect. All right, then they're gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes, everybody. And after that 10 minutes, you're gonna take them out and we're gonna brush them with a little bit of olive oil and you're gonna put them back in for about five to eight minutes. So this is like four to turn. Um, the oven shouldn't be hot right now, oh, so I mean it shouldn't, I mean it is hot, but it isn't. You should be able to, and let's put it down. Yep, just like that. All right. Now, good. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do just a little bit of Bible study while the bread's baking. How many of you guys could tell me the story of uh, the Exodus? Uh, what was, uh, when Israel was in Egypt, uh, they were slaves in Egypt, and God got them out of Egypt uh, by bringing plagues on the Egyptians. What was the last and the worst of the plagues? Justin, what do you remember? Um, I only remember a few, but I'm just guessing what the worst one was. I think it's like the darkness, or I think it's that. Yes, that was one of them. Uh, in fact, that might have even been... I'm not going to guess. I won't remember what number that was. But yes, that was one of the plagues. Uh, it wasn't the last. Uh, does anyone remember what the last one was? Oh. Isabel, I'm going to go to Isabel. I'll give you a chance. Isabel. Uh, wasn't it where you had to like put um, blood on your door so the, the angel of the Lord would pass over it so he wouldn't kill your son? Yes. Yep, that was poor child. It was. yep, that's right. God was going to send his angel through Egypt and kill uh, the firstborn son in every house. Uh, and uh, God spared or he saved his people by telling them that if they killed uh, a lamb and wiped its blood over their doors, then the angel would see that blood. And just like you said, Isabel, the angel would pass over their house. Uh, and so those people would be safe. Uh, but, uh, oh, it looks like we lost Tiffany Ann. So I'm going to let Emma back in there. There we go. Hey there, Gordons. Um, yeah, uh, so this is how God saved his people. Uh, while uh, bringing punishment on the Egyptian, uh, he brought deliverance to his people. Uh, and that night, he also told his people to have a special meal. Uh, they were going to celebrate the Passover. Uh, that is, they were celebrating how God's angel was passing over their house, keeping them safe. Uh, and, so, uh, uh, and so God uh, told his people, we're going to have a special meal tonight. Uh, and one of the ingredients or one of the items on the menu was a special kind of bread. Uh, and what was the ingredient that they were not supposed to put in their bread that night? All right, Martin, you haven't had a turn. What is it? Yeast. Yeah, yeast. All right, good. Uh, yeast makes bread rise. We all love bread with yeast. It's, it's fluffy, it's soft, it's delicious. Uh, but the trouble with yeast is that it takes time. Uh, it takes time for yeast to work and to make the bread dough rise. And the Israelites did not have time that night. They had to get out of Egypt fast uh, because God was rescuing them and getting them away from Egypt and Pharaoh, uh, the king of Egypt. Uh, so uh, later on, uh, for, well, for hundreds of years, the Jews continued to celebrate this meal every year uh, during the Passover. Uh, it was an annual religious holiday. Uh, and uh, Jesus and his disciples, uh, who also were Jews, uh, they celebrated the Passover. Uh, and so when Jesus had this supper with his disciples, the bread and the wine, uh, they were having a Passover meal together. Uh, but Jesus did something new and something special that night, something that had never been done. Uh, he took this bread 
that had no yeast in it. Uh, he took this bread and said, this is my body. Uh, and so with that bread, he was giving himself to the disciples. Uh, and with the wine, he said, this is my blood of the New Testament poured out for you for the forgiveness of sin. And he also told the disciples to keep doing this meal. He said, do this for the remembrance of me. And so Christians, we continue to do this. Now, I'm going to read to you a Bible verse. Uh, this comes from uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, where Paul says, uh, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. He says, uh, clean out the old yeast so that you may be a new batch as you really are unleavened. Okay, so now he's comparing your sins to yeast. And he's saying, we don't want any of that in this bread, okay? Uh, we don't want any of your sins in our new life with Christ. And he says, for our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Uh, he says, we have our own Paschal Lamb. Just like the Jews had to kill a lamb and wipe its blood over their doors, uh, we have our own lamb. We don't have to actually go out and find a lamb and kill it. Uh, we don't have to go to the farm and take a lamb. Uh, Jesus is our lamb. Uh, his blood has been put on us so that God's wrath passes over us and does not harm us. Uh, you were washed in Jesus' blood when you were baptized. You receive his blood when you have the Lord's Supper, when you have communion. So you have Jesus' blood. And because you have the blood of Christ, uh, God's wrath, his anger, his punishment goes over you, passes over you, so that you are safe. Uh, you are saved uh, by the blood of Christ. Uh, so tonight, we're making this unleavened bread uh, to remember how God saved his people from slavery in Egypt. Also to remember uh, that Jesus is the new Passover lamb for us, uh, that we also uh, have been saved from God's wrath. Uh, so, uh, Liz, how many more minutes until that bread timer goes off, do you think? Well, maybe just a few more. Okay, good. Now, uh, three more minutes. Thank you, Isabel. Uh, and, and yeah, and enjoy this bread. Um, uh, you know, if we were using it in communion, uh, during communion, uh, I wouldn't be quite so uh, just sort of, I, I don't know, lighthearted about this. But I mean, the bread we're having tonight, we're not really using for communion. So you can put butter on it. You can you know, toast it, do whatever you want. You can eat it however you like. Um, it's really, it's, it is pretty tasty. Uh, it's, it's good bread. So uh, enjoy it and eat it however you like. Um, like I said, you could even freeze it and save it uh, and have it the night of your first communion. Uh, maybe even send a loaf home with your, with your family. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's good stuff. All right, Isabel, what's the countdown? Where are we at? What's the time? Uh, 10 seconds. Okay. Maybe it's time. I'll, I'll, I'm going to put on my mask and we're going to go back into the kitchen uh, just so you can see this next step. Liz, what's the next ingredient? Oh, the next thing is, is you're going to, we're going to take some oil and brush some oil on them and then it's going back in the oven. So, Martin, can you take it out of the oven? Be careful. And you can see it did raise a little bit, and that's because we did put a little bit of baking soda in it, which is a, uh, which does make it raise up a little bit. I doubt if they had that back then. <laughs> oh, just need to do that much. <laughs> All right, this is making a mess. <laughs> Open it up because there's probably plenty there. There's plenty on the counter. There's plenty on the counter here too that I got all over. Yep, there you go. I didn't do a very good job, did I? Mm -hmm. Then, depending on how hot your ovens run, if your moms know how hot they run, you might need the full. Um, you might not need the full eight, um, eight minutes, but I think we're probably going to put this back in for the full eight minutes just to make sure. Okay, back in a moment. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Put it back in the oven. Careful. Be careful. 
Um, how are we supposed to know when the bread is like done? Um, as I said, I would probably put it in for another eight minutes and it'll be done. Okay. Okay. You shouldn't have to worry about it unless you've got one real big one that you did or are they, if they're all pretty even, another eight minutes should do it. But if, but if you think you made one bigger than all the rest of them, it might take even 10 minutes. Right now, we could actually just uh, say our Lord's Prayer and uh, sign off uh, because I'll, I can just leave you guys then um, uh, to kind of test this on your own. Uh, give it eight minutes, like Liz said, uh, and, and uh, take it out. Okay, so she says, let it rest after you take it out of the oven. Let it rest for five minutes, uh, and then uh, you could try it, uh, that it's really good when it's warm. Thank yeah. you, Liz. Yeah, Liz, they want to say thank you. Hey, Liz. Thanks, thank Liz. You, Liz. Thanks. But uh, let's all fold our hands, and we'll say the Lord's Prayer together, and then we can sign off. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Uh, happy eating, everybody. Hope you guys all like your bread. Hope it all turns out. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. See you. Bye. Yeah. Oh, stop. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See ya. We'll see ya. Okay. All right, here we're gonna go back. Mostly my customers were out. That's true. Yeah. But a lot of them in a lot of them in New York are. They don't take. They don't take. Right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There are other animals. <laughs> Well, there you go. Wonderful. Take some home and. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Hey, would you hold it up to the camera? Awesome, of course. You should take some home too. That's all. Yeah, look at that. There you go. Doesn't it smell good? Oh, it smells delicious. Look how good that is. That stuff it just smells so very. Good. It looks, it's like crusty, but. I know. I know, which is good. 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 <laughs> I'm glad you did it. So big thank you to Liz Pato. Uh, we're going to sign out, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>